Even though a person may do dhikrullah, there are two things that I will mention before finishing for this week. One is that a person sometimes does dhikrullah and they do not feel the tumanina. They think that this is just placing effort without any results. The answer is that that person may be doing an action by which he is being punished by not having tumanina. An action sometimes those actions may not be those things which are explicitly haram. They can even be things which are makru or even ghafalat, acts of negligence, by which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will keep that person, meaning a barrier in the heart of that person by which he has no tum'anina. Secondly, sometimes a person may stop doing those particular actions, but the satisfaction of the heart is not attained straight away. And the person, because of qillatul sabr, a lack of patience, uh, loses his patience and stops doing the good actions that he is doing. This is caused because the person does not realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is changing his situation subtly and slowly. Subtly, I mean, this is why one of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is what? Latif. Subtly and slowly. The situation of the person is changing. So the person. مَنْ عَجَّلَ شَيْئًا عُوْقِبَ بِحِرْمَانِهِ عُوْقِبَ بِحِرْمَانِهِ Whoever hastens something, uh, rushes something, he is punished by not being given that thing at all. So sometimes a person, when he does dhikrullah, he may not feel the halawatul iman. This is because of something he is doing. Once he abandons that thing, attaining the halawatul iman and his situation of stopping certain sins and ghafalat and shahwat, negligent acts and desires, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will change his situation slowly as long as he is always beseeching Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.